Welcome, my name is Susan Spencer and this is volume five of the last in my series on cash flow for women in business, brought to you by Briefcase Essentials. This session is my opportunity to review with you what we've already covered in volumes one to four and give you a specific example of how I applied sound cash flow management with what I call a sweet solution. If you have watched the cash flow series, you will understand what you need to know about cash flow and apply it to your business or potential startup. Cash flow is not a very exciting topic, but after 25 years in my own businesses, I believe it is the number one issue that you will deal with as long as you are in business. Let's revisit the basics. Cash flow is the movement of dollars in and out of your company, which enables you to operate your business. Take a few moments to study the chart one more time to review the information we have already covered. Here are some of the most important issues that have been covered. To stretch your dollars, get your bills out fast and collect them effectively and promptly. Lines of credit and bank loans can help balance your cash needs. Remember, to grow a business, you will need to establish credit and borrow money along the way. That's the reality of being in your own business. Before you start a business, figure out if you can make your business run on positive cash flow. Write down a detailed list of all your cash outflow needs that you will be paying for. Try to eliminate as many costs in the beginning as you can by being a jack of all trades. Spend time every week checking out your cash flow, both money coming in and going out. It is much better to know the truth, even if it causes some additional stress, because knowledge will help you handle the surprises. You will get good at this challenge, and even though it's stressful, Eventually, you will look forward to working your cash flow plan out. It seems that cash flow issues and solutions have followed me throughout my career. In this area, managing cash flow, women have a clear advantage because of their natural ability to multitask. I will share with you one of my sweetest solutions to saving cash flow by cutting costs which was my job when I managed a professional football team, the Philadelphia Eagles. As the acting general manager, I was charged with reducing costs and saving cash outflow. I interpreted that to mean do anything any way I wanted. I focused on a big juicy one where I could save the company $200,000 just by changing the charter airlines the football team used. My solution was really easy. Instead of chartering a giant 747 with lots of extra seats and a luxurious travel experience, I switched the contract to a much smaller no-frills airplane. There was only one major problem. My dad, who owned the team, was used to flying in luxury. So I never mentioned it to him because I was doing my job, saving cash outflow. A few months later, the team took their first trip on the much smaller jet bound for California. And as my luck would have it, my dad, who never traveled with the team, decided to go along. When we got to the airport in Philly, I was sweating bullets, but I kept thinking about saving $200,000. As I walked up the stairs to the plane, I heard serious grumbling from the football players which was nothing compared to my dad's stream of four-letter words, all aimed at me. I ignored it as best I could and waited for the next shoe to drop, which it did about halfway across the country. When the small plane started to circle a little airport, my dad turned to me and shouted, what have you done now? I responded calmly, calmly oh, it's nothing. We're just stopping to refuel. I dared not look at him because I knew he was hopping mad and all I could think about 
was the $200,000 the team would save. As everyone got off the plane to stretch and visit the airport lounge, I stayed behind to execute my sweet solution. Carts of ice cream and hot fudge and wet nuts and fresh fruit were wheeled up next to the plane. And when the players and coaches returned to reboard, they took one look at the sweet solution and started to hoot and holler. Each player took two huge bowls onto the plane, and the rest of the way to California was very quiet. Even my dad stopped complaining. So what's the lesson of this story? There will be times when you need to cut costs and save precious cash outflow by making some tough choices. But as long as you sprinkle it with a spoonful of sugar, that medicine will go down easier. It worked for me, and I am sure it will work for you. If you want to read the Sweet Solution story in greater detail, pick up my book, Briefcase Essentials. Cash flow concerns are part of being a business owner. As they say, it comes with the territory. I hope you will approach cash flow after viewing this five-part series with greater determination than ever to start your own business. If you have any questions that I did not cover, please contact me at the following links. Thank you for viewing this series. Look for new topics on women in business brought to you by Briefcase Essentials. And I leave you with one last wish. I wish for you what owning my own business has given me. The confidence to tackle any obstacle because after owning and running a business, everything else is easy.